USS Rhode Island was the last of five Virginia-class battleships built for the United States Navy. She was laid down in 1902 at the Four River Shipyard in Quincy, Massachusetts, and launched on May 17, 1904. The ship was commissioned into the Atlantic Fleet on February 19, 1906, and her first commanding officer was Captain William S. Sims. Rhode Island was armed with a main battery of four 12-inch, 305mm, guns and eight 8-inch, 203mm, guns. She was also equipped with 12 6-inch, 152mm, guns, 12 3-inch, 76mm, guns, and four 21-inch, 533mm, torpedo tubes. The ship was powered by two-shaft triple expansion steam engines rated at 19,000 indicated horsepower, 14,000 kilowatts, with steam provided by 12 coal-fired Babcock and Wilcox boilers. Rhode Island had a top speed of 19 knots, 35 kilometers per hour, 22 miles per hour. The ship's career primarily consisted of training with the other battleships of the Atlantic Fleet. She took part in the cruise of the Great White Fleet in 1907 to 1909, and thereafter largely remained in the Atlantic. In late 1913, she cruised the Caribbean coast of Mexico to protect American interests during the Mexican Revolution. After the United States entered World War I in April 1917, Rhode Island was assigned to anti submarine patrols off the east coast of the U.S. Starting in December 1918, after the end of the war, the ship was used to repatriate American soldiers. She carried over 5,000 men in the course of five trips. She was briefly transferred to the Pacific Fleet in 1919 before being decommissioned in 1920 and sold for scrap in 1923 under the terms of the Washington Naval Treaty. Rhode Island was a significant ship in the history of the U.S. Navy. She was the last of the Virginia-class battleships, and her design served as the basis for the subsequent Nevada-class battleships. Rhode Island also played a role in the development of naval tactics, as she was one of the first battleships to be equipped with a fire control director. The ship's career was not without its challenges. In 1904, while still under construction, Rhode Island was struck by a fire that caused extensive damage. The fire was eventually extinguished, but it delayed the ship's completion by several months. In 1915, Rhode Island was involved in a collision with the British steamer SS Oropesa. The collision caused significant damage to both ships, but no one was injured. Despite these challenges, Rhode Island served the U.S. Navy with distinction for over 14 years. She was a versatile ship that was capable of a variety of missions and she played a significant role in the development of the U.S. Navy.